There we go. Now it's working. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Maggie McKenna. I'm the director of the St. Lawrence County Arts Council, and I'm so happy to have you on today for episode 42 of Art for Art's Sake. This is a new program from the St. Lawrence County Arts Council where we're showcasing local artists from all over the area and or some are here locally and some don't live here anymore and that's cool um all different media we're so excited to be able to get to know some of our artists a little bit better and all that so if you're an artist and you want to get involved reach out to me directly you can email me or um send me a message on facebook and we'll set up a time for you to um showcase what you're doing i also want to mention that we we value diversity we really want to make sure that we are giving a voice to people um, who don't have a voice or don't have an outlet to share their work. Um, people of color, indigenous folks, um, LGBTQ+, anything. We would love to be a part of or show, show your community and our community. Let them all come together. Sorry, I'm rambling a little bit there because I don't know how to word it. It's really hard. It's a really hard time right now, but we'd love to have you on here. So please reach out to me. I'd love to help amplify your voices. Um, artists of all disciplines though, reach out to me. I wanna thank all our sponsors too for uh, supporting this, or this, this organization during this crazy time and for helping this, this program work for us and our community. Um, so I have a special treat for you this lovely Friday afternoon. I'm actually in the office and I will show you my office at some point, but you have, you get to see my art for sake take background. <laughs> um, but I'm in the office for real working by myself. I'm all alone, but that's okay because I get to focus. Um, but we've got Nate Lasham. He and I met when we were both chamber directors and I guess he still is though. Well, sadly the chamber's closed, but um, I'm really excited to have him show you some of his cool artwork, his photography and things like that. So let me unmute you and, or you can unmute yourself if you feel like it and we'll meet Nate. I'm sure it'll be fun. There he is. Hi, how are you? <laughs> this is my PowerPoint. Oh, there you go. You said, you said I had to have a PowerPoint, but I said, this is all you're getting. <laughs> there was no PowerPoint recommendation or, or anything like that. Don't ask me why I have that. <laughs> so how are you i'm doing very well thank you so much for being a part of what we're doing here it's fun no problem i, I i'm honored to be classified as an artist <laughs> you do you <laughs> <laughs> that's usually how i put it is i do me uh basically um whatever comes to mind i just try it i like i like working with my hands hey there's the office <laughs> I have to unmute myself so people can see. Look at my boring office. It's so much less colorful than my house. I was going to say, you need some color on those walls. I know. Well, we are in the village offices, so. And they painted for us when we got in here, so I'm, I, I'm pleased with that. I got, we have a ginormous new printer from Ooh. Advanced Business Systems. That and is huge. I work in the back. Yeah, isn't that huge? Uh, it feels like a computer <laughs> uprising. It's super exciting. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, take it away. All right. Well, I'm Nate. Uh, I, I'm a local photographer here in Messina, New York. I service pretty much the North Country and beyond. I've, I've done photography shoots all over, well, the nation. I won't say the world. Huh. Canada. I, I went to Canada one time. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I also do a lot of video work. Uh, we do uh, videography. I've worked on documentaries. Uh, actually, currently there's a documentary out there called Dirt McComber, The Last of the Mohicans. Uh, I um, filmed a good portion of that. I would say about 60% of that. No, uh, maybe it was like 45%. I don't know. Uh, they haven't given me the metrics on it. it, it it's, it's been going through uh, um, uh, film festivals. It's won a couple of awards. Uh, quite the character. He's this, you know, kind of rough and tough indigenous man that you know kind of lives off the land and provides for his family it's a really cool documentary if you get a chance to check it check it out um there's also i'm part of a lacrosse doc also so that's my video stuff i do a lot of that stuff um uh, with the help of actually i have a video editor too that i work with uh day snyder gotta give her a shout out um but my photography i've done that for jeez um well Actually, I think I have one of the, my first cameras on the, uh, it's just one of those little Pentax 110s. Uh, I still have it. Uh, I've been doing it since I was 12 years old. Uh, I still have un, 
undeveloped film that my mom <laughs> she wouldn't even develop it i think i tried to develop one one time and it was just all blue so i call that my blue period so yeah um that <laughs> they say keep it in the freezer but i guess that didn't work because it was still horrible <laughs> um i thought i would uh if i could I, i'll try to share my screen if i could do that i don't know because i was just going to go through some of the work that i've done uh in the past um and currently let's see uh, how do I do this? I don't know. Um, Magical button. I had a folder. I don't know where it went. You know what? I'll do desktop. Share. There, there's my desktop. You like it? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> We're gonna go through this thing. There we go. That works, right? Although now I can't see anything. All right, here we go. So here's just some of the shots that I've done. Oh, sure. It's not going to show them all. Jeez. Well, that's just, that's just not working. I think that if you like open all of the files, then it should work. Yeah. I tried. What if I did this? There we go. No, that's not right. All right. Let's open all the files. Like she said. There we go. Look at her. She's so smart. I like you. All right. So that's my daughter, Riley, actually. Um, so I uh, yeah, shot in St. Louis. Actually, this is at a photography conference. I like, I like dramatics. I like, you know, just big color. This is actually, um, I was commissioned to do a piece when uh, Congresswoman Stefanik was coming up. It was in like 2015. And they wanted me to present her a picture that uh, embodied the Messina area. Uh, and everyone thought the locks, they thought it needs to be it needs to be the locks to show the ships, like go and take a beautiful picture of the ships. And there's many pictures out there of the ships. And when I was there, I actually went at daybreak. So I'm there as the sun's rising because I thought that would be a really cool picture to get the sun rising. And as I'm there, I got the linemen and they were, they were just lined up just right there. And I go, you know what? F the ships, man. I go, the North Country is not about the ships. It's about the people. It's about the people that made that thing. So we did this. They loved it. She loved it. It's actually hanging in her office, I believe. Uh, I hope it is. <laughs> I did see a picture one time that was in her office, so hopefully it's still there. Um, so I'm pretty proud of this. Uh, that's one of my, uh, of course, when it comes to people, I just love capturing their essence, like just their rock stars, you know what I mean? Like everybody is, has their own rock star in them. So I'm always trying to capture that, you know, whether it be sports, art, you know, chess, violin, I don't care. I will make it look badass. I just love it. This, uh, this is a senior shoot. Um, you know, she, uh, Native American, she, they, she loved the sun. She was like, I want sun shots. I, I really want a sunset shot. I go, how about if you hold it? She's like, what? I go, let's make you hold the sun. She's like, what are you talking about? I go, trust me. And so we made her hold the sun. So again, just light. I love the way light will just hit certain things and make it pop. So for me, it's like painting with light. And um, I, I don't know if anyone's ever saw the, the one shot of Picasso where he takes and he paints. He paints with a, like a matchstick or something like that. I think it's like a burning uh, ember or something like that. And he paints with light. I mean, it's, it's one of the best, best photos you can actually say. These are just some beautiful shots. I mean, she looked like a baby doll. I mean, that's my, that's my niece, actually. <laughs> Again, I love capturing just the moment, the emotion, what's going on, you know? You can see that they're in it, you know? They're in it to win it. They're in, they're in for a ride right there. You know what I mean? Like you're telling a story. Product shots. I know this seems so commercial, which it is. That's what it's called, commercial photography. But the, but the beauty in it, you're just like, you're highlighting, you're hitting all the angles, you know, you're just, you're showcasing what the product is and, and, and wanting to, and making, giving that emotion that someone wants to buy it. I know that these are two old cameras, but I couldn't find anything. <laughs> couldn't find anything that I had it right away because I didn't really plan <laughs> as I should have. <laughs> I love Hollywood shots. I love that old glam Hollywood lighting where it's just, you know, pop shots, stuff like that. So I actually, one day I want to recreate, I have like, I have all these uh, old like Fred Astaire, Jimmy Dean, all these things. Uh, 
I have all these like old, you know, headshots of them that was done in this really harsh lighting. And I'm actually thinking about like getting some uh, models one day and just kind of recreating a lot of them. It'd be really cool. Again, big and bold. I love big. I love to make you pop. And I'm a nerd. Uh, so like when there's fellow nerds that like say that they're going to do their wedding is a Star Wars. I go, F yeah, I'm in. Let's do this. So these two, these are all, they, they were awesome. They, uh, they, uh, Luke and Han, uh, or sorry, uh, Han and, and Leia. I mean, that's not Luke and Han. It's a whole different wedding, but I would do that wedding too. It'd be awesome. <laughs> They told me they wanted to do, they were having like a, a, a pirate themed wedding. And I said, dude, let's get a torch and let's go, let's go exploring. They're like, what? And I go, I've got a torch. I literally ripped up my own t-shirt, put up, put it, doused it in whatever kerosene or whatever it was. And we went by the, what was it? Lighter fluid? Uh, my, my, my lovely assistant in the back, Tori, my wife, she's helping me. Um, or should I say my boss? Uh, but yeah, we did a lighter fluid. We went out there. I mean, this was literally, I think we had what, like 20 minutes, 20 minutes to get, get this shot right. And we, I mean, we freaking nailed it. I was so happy. They were so happy. They were like, this is everything we wanted. Oh yeah. Oh man. Dancing. So uh, we did, uh, we did tap to toe dance studio just re uh, last, this last season. And um, at the end of it, usually we do all our standards, you know, sit, stand, whatever, do your pirouettes or whatever they are. And uh, I don't know the terms, but they, they were like, um, you know, we did all the group shots and stuff like that. But I said, hey, why don't we on the last day, because there was a lot of a lot of kids, I go on the last day, anyone that wants to come in and just kind of show their stuff. And let's just, let's just work with it. And I let them express themselves. And we just kept shooting and we kept and then I would like fine tune some of the poses. And we got this shot. And I just loved it. There's another one in here, which it was pretty amazing what they were able to do. So we'll get Yeah, here it is. So these girls, yeah, they do this like, flippy flip thing where they almost are they're on their toes and we got the shot and i was just like i i there's no editing to this i literally did nothing to this i probably could have composed it a little better maybe cropped it in a little better but man just what they're doing i was like i don't want to like add anything to it i go i just think i love it <laughs> so i left it i didn't care <laughs> again back to the beginning violin I love just showcasing the people and what they do. You know, it's kind of the accent, the, the product and, or the thing that they're doing isn't what's them, it's them is what's them, if that makes sense. <laughs> so that's a little bit of my photography. Um, let's see, where am I? <laughs> Some of those, I have a quick question for you, Nate. Yeah. Um, Some of those shots were like these crazy glamor shots. Are those, um, are those photographs that you are like, I want to do this, so I'm gonna find a, a model, or is it like somebody wants to dress up and have their photo taken? How does um, that which one specifically? I mean, I think uh, I think majority of those were all just things that people wanted. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything uh, staged or, 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 or I mean, we 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 curated it like to to we cultivate it to, for that style. Um, but most of that was like on like the, the weddings, the, the pirate, the, that was all stuff that we kind of sort of planned for. <laughs> I'll be honest. My plan is chaotic mess. I have, a, I have an idea and a theory in mind and we figure it out as we get there. It's the pivot theory all day long. <laughs> Somehow I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is you got to expect the unexpected. So it's hard to plan for unexpectedness. Uh, you could be prepared, but then you're over preparing. You're wasting a lot of time. I don't know. I, I don't know. You could, you could argue both ways, but uh, I make it work. And when it doesn't work, we try again. <laughs> so. so, so this is your creative process. Do you want to verbalize that any more than? Oh, geez. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sure. Um, here's, uh, okay. So, uh, yeah, verbalize it. Uh, no, I, I'm not good with words. I don't know if anyone's ever seen me type or, 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 or put do letters or even right now where I'm stumbling over my own words. Uh, I'm more of a show don't tell kind of guy. Um, that might get me in trouble some days, but you know, Hey, it is what it is. Um, uh, so when it comes down to it, I, I'm all about chaotic mess and let me just, nope, get out of here. Let me get, let me switch over to this screen. 
No, not that. I keep pushing the wrong buttons, stupid buttons. All right. Um, so this is a painting my daughter and I did when she was three, I think. Yeah, three. Um, so she wanted to paint and I said, let's just get some paint out. And we, we were just like finger painting, whatever. And in the midst of this, her and I, she had, she had kind of almost made a little heart. And, and I was like, that is amazing. So we just kind of, and we kind of went with it and it was a chaotic mess. That is the process we started with, but we ended up with something so amazing. And then I was like, is there anything else you want to do to it, hon? And she took one little red thing and she went just like that. And I was just like, the mind of a three-year-old, you got, I mean, it's amazing. So that is our, our, our uh, I'm going to take full credit for it because I was the mastermind in it, but I love this thing and I hope it lasts forever. I hope it gets passed on and on and on. But <laughs> believe it or not, there was a painting underneath it that we whitewashed <laughs> that was just horrible. So I love this one. So there, that's the best way I can explain my process. I just, I come up with stuff, I think about it and I say, hey, let's, let's, try, let's try doing this. So with that being like, with some of that, I, uh, I went to garage sales one day. When was this? Like 10 years ago? I don't know, seven years ago. And I bought garbage bags full of cassette tapes. And I never knew what I was going to do with them. I mean, this is just one garbage. This is one garbage bag I've already delved into. I probably have two others somewhere. And uh, I was at a garage sale. They had all these really blank cassettes. And I thought, oh, sure, I'll buy them for a dollar. <laughs> and I always thought I was going to do something. I did do something with them uh, initially a few years back. I actually, I had, there were a lot of like bands. There was like a lot of like bands ones. These were just blank ones. There was a lot of like blank and, you know, and I've been starting to paint them and stuff like that. And uh, I did make a backdrop, like a casket, like a cassette backdrop for photography. And I, and I used it for a little bit, but then I realized a lot of our new generation didn't really dig it as much as I thought they would. They don't know what it is, right? No. They're like, what is this? They're like, I, I don't, I don't hear anything from it. This is just, this is horrible. Um, so I was like, oh, okay. But, um, so with that, and then fast forward, I found them again. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot all about these. And of course we've had all this free time on our hands and I go, I should get back into doing something. So that's when I made. Sorry, I should have been prepared. I should have been more prepared. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, right. Okay. Uh, sorry, I gotta switch this. So that's when I made a few of these. Uh, we went and got a few of the things. I'm a, I'm an '80s kid at heart. Sorry, I gotta pull that down. Um, so like, I dig, I dig the you know the colors and the themes like that. So that's kind of my, uh, my style. So um, all I did really is I, you know, I painted, I either did acrylic paint or spray paint. Um, and I just kind of messed around with it. Then I take, and then we put a little wire through so that we, we hot glue it just on there. And then we put a little hot glue uh, on the wire as well. So that way it kind of stands the test of time. Uh, so they won't fall off. Um, but I've just been playing with that, and, you know, and it's funny because I love doing that. I love, I love, you know, you know, twisting things and making things and hot gluing things, especially in my hands, man, that hurts, but it, sometimes it, it happens. Um, with, but, you know, the funniest thing is that when I was doing this, I was making art. And then while I was making art, I made art again without even knowing it. So this was, this was like some of the papers Oh, it's hard to see on this, on this camera. I don't know. Let me, let me see if I can. Yeah, I'll switch it back to this one. I thought these cameras were going to be great, but it turns out they're not great. They're not the best cameras ever. So, so while I was making art, I made art. And I was like, oh, my God, it's art inside my art. Yo, dog, I heard you loved art. So I put some art in your art. And I was like, this is awesome. I go, I got to frame that. I mean, it has some problems with it. But at the same time, I love problems. Like, I, I, I love it. So I'll probably frame it and call it a day, slap a $1,000 on it and see what happens. No, I'm just kidding. Because, <laughs> again, I'm about business, too. <laughs>
that's the one thing I, I, I think that sometimes that we lose as artists is that we're, we're expressing ourselves so much that we sometimes we don't value it as much as we think. We, we put an emotional value on it and we don't put a monetary value on it, which goes against the whole art and the whole, I don't know. <laughs> but we got to make a living, right? We shouldn't be starving artists. Absolutely. We totally agree. That's what the Arts Council is here for. <laughs> right. Do you have any tips for artists who like want to get into selling their art? Oh, uh, yes. I'm just yes. throwing things out, you, out at yes. you. Yes, yes, okay, I do. Um, just do it, uh, just put it out there. I, and that's the thing, you know, people all overthink it. They, uh, you know, start low if you have to. I mean, it sucks because yeah, you do want to make like, I would love to make a thousand dollars off that. I don't think it's likely, but I'll start there. And if it doesn't sell, then I'll lower it and see what happens. You know what I mean? But don't want to cut yourself short too soon. Um, I don't want to put it out there. Well, well, the paper cost me three cents and the paint was five cents. So uh, how about 50 cents? And it's like, no, man, like put, you got time. You have, you have emotional value into it. There's a message there sometimes, sometimes there isn't, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, you just kind of wing it. I, I wing it. Like I threw one of those up on eBay for like 50 bucks. It hasn't sold, <laughs> but I haven't marketed it either. So that's one of the things that you should think about too, is you have to market. Instagram, Pinterest, all those places are like, those are like an arts, like heaven right now. Like that's an artist's heaven to be able to showcase your, your art. Uh, and it's just going to take that one person that has that same appeal that you have, that's going to want it. I mean, not everybody's going to want it. That's not, that's how art is, you know? I mean, there's, I, you know, I have people all the time saying, how do you, how do you become a good photographer? Well, I can tell you how to be a good picture taker. But I, I can't tell you how to be a good photographer because I think the only one that believes you're a good photographer is yourself. You have to believe that. You have to believe that what you're taking and you like is great. And if some on the, someone else likes it as well, then great. But if you're only getting in it to make money, then you need to do it by the book and process. Okay, this is how it becomes uh, composed and this is how it's exposed properly and blah, blah, blah. But I've seen really underexposed shots become really famous or overexposed shots become really famous and, and appealing. So it's about what you like. It's like music, right? It's like music, it's like anything. You know, there are music I don't particularly like. I respect that I don't like, but then there's music I love. I love punk rock music. People hate punk rock music sometimes because <laughs> it sounds horrible sometimes. Oi, 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 you're like, yeah. But there's some days I'm oi, oi, oi. <laughs> I love it. That's so awesome. Do you, um, I'm, I'd love to take comments from anybody who's watching or comments or questions. Yeah, so I can show, I can show while I do that. I can show one I'm working on right now. Oh yeah. That'd be awesome. It's I'll, I'll be honest. I literally started this before anything happened. I swear to God. So I don't, I, I don't want to feel like I'm, I literally started this about three weeks ago and Oh, is it backwards? It is. It's oh, backwards. Yeah. Is it? What is it supposed to say together? Yeah. I and I literally, uh, so it's, it's still a work in progress. So I haven't really got the, I got the wires attached. Um, I still have to like blue down some of the things and then it needs a matte finish. But I swear, I, I was like, oh my God. I was like, I can't believe this is happening right now. And I was just making this. I was like, but I, I loved the, the fact that I had these uh, black and white tapes. So I was really kind of just doing this really cool little thing. And uh, this took forever. This part took forever. Um, actually above you where this horrible camera is, there's a, a GoPro camera that I've been, I've been doing a timeline of it, of how long it was taking. So again, back to my video editing. I, I think that it's gonna be kind of neat to see that. And um, I think Catherine, doesn't Catherine LaPointe do this? She does some like timeline when she's doing painting yeah, she, and stuff like that. The, you know, when it, going back to marketing, I think that is the best way to market your art because it shows the effort. It shows the, the time and, and labor that goes into anything you're making. Uh, so it, it ups the value. It really shows it. You know, 
if someone's t- throwing paint or tennis balls full of paint on a thing and you know that's all they think is that, oh it took two seconds to make but when they film it and they show it it's not as easy as with just throwing it you know there's there's some process to it you know like i love those new spin those spin ones have you seen those where they take the paint they spin them oh oh those are so awesome <laughs> i would do that but i just i don't know if i could handle the mess right now <laughs> not with that stuff <laughs> <laughs> too much too much camera gear here for that try it outside <laughs> yeah yeah right that's so fun uh Catherine's actually watching and she's like i'm trying to do that we see you Catherine. i say hey i watch i watch yeah i mean but that that's you know when it comes to marketing your art and trying to you know as an artist it's going to take a long time it's you know that's why you know that's why i see art you know a lot of people that maybe aren't into buying art can't fathom the thought of spending fifty thousand dollars for a piece of art, piece of art but that's the thing if that one artist sells that one piece they're able to continue art for at least the next year you know they're able to, to provide for themselves uh it does seem you know outlandish but it makes sense in that in the in the, in the business sense of it all now uh, an up and, coming, uh, up and coming artist that has no recognition, no marketing, you know, it's going to say, it's going to have to sell 50 <laughs> of those, you know what I mean? Like, but at a smaller increment increment. So it's all supply and demand uh, and what works and what sells. Actually, speaking of artists, Tori, uh, can you bring in one of your mugs or something? I, I want to showcase my wife. She's, she's been doing, um, she does these mugs uh, with, Actually, I'll show this real quick while she's getting one ready. I don't really have. You don't have anything ready? Dang it! Sorry. I'll show this though. I apologize. I can. I can bring my computer over to her. Hold on. Um, <laughs> she's got some on the wheel right now. Uh, but this is one she helped me with. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Yeah. I meant to do this. Um, so this is this is an interesting piece of art. Uh, it's hard to showcase that it's, let me get lower and then show like the dynamics of it. So those are pyramids. Uh, it's hard to show. Wait, yes, I can do this. I can do anything if I put my mind to it. So this one has dimension. Um, so the, it's acrylic paint, but it's also mixed with glow dust. So the, the lighter color, sorry, I'm like messing this up. The lighter colors will glow in the dark as like even the orange and the, the, the green, sorry, I'm, I'm really screwing this up. Uh, I'm trying to watch it and do it at the same time. So we were just kind of messing with it. So actually this was my little rendition of uh, spin art, but I did, it really turned into throw art. I didn't like really spin it. I more uh, or less like, Piled, piled the paint on uh, spe- like specifically in certain areas. And then I took the canvas and I was like, oh, 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 oh. and I'm like, no, go this way. My, hus- <laughs> <laughs> My husband and I play with like epoxy acrylic yeah. like that. Um, and actually I would show my desk here that he did that. And we use like a blow a, a hairdryer and just- ah. Yeah, that I guess I I'll show you this, but I have it completely covered with paper. So I'll have to try. I, I've just been introduced to hair dryers actually now. I have this is the first oh. time I've ever hair dried. I've always, yeah. you know, air dried. Uh, last painting that I have on me is one of my daughter when she was younger. I wasn't good with faces though. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, you're not getting a face. So that's one of my, li- yeah, my youngest daughter when she was young. And here's one of my oldest daughter, but this is photography. And this actually won merit at one of the photography uh, 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 competitions. I know it's a metal print, so that's why it has so much uh, thing, but it's called Monster High Fashion. So yeah, she was into Monster High at the time. Let me pull this over there and show some of the mugs that she's doing. Yeah, I'm sorry, this, there's no order to this. It's just willy nilly, we're just gonna walk around. And... So this is my wife, Tori. Hi, Tori. Hi. <laughs> Uh, so Tori does um, these mugs and coffee mugs and water jugs. She uses a uh, epoxy acrylic. You want to talk resin, about it? resin? Yeah. And uh, the, she uses uh, the specific um, uh, glitter and color changing 
uh, what is it called? Glitter Hippo. Glitter Hippo, Glitter, hippo, glitter yep. Um, and uh, SolarColorDust.com. And SolarColorDust I use, yep. SolarColorDust.com. It's actually colors. the name is .com for some reason. So like they change colors in the sun. Um, like we have solar drops, you hold it in your hand and you walk outside and maybe it's white and it'll turn purple immediately. Do you have one? Um, yeah. Do you have one? I'll show it. It's really cool actually. She's been using this for these uh, mugs uh, and she's been making all sorts of, like I, she made me a water bottle that's, is it here? So, no, it's not. It's a, this is just the bottle of drops. Oh, okay, here, so here. like right now it's this. And then when we walk outside, Gotta be in the sun, so I'm gonna walk with it in the sun. See what happens. Did you do it? Yep, it's doing it. Yep. So. So that one. Oh, that one's only turning orange. Oh, yeah. that one's a good one. That one's a good one. Turn. It gets really dark when it's out of the container, actually. Yeah. Once you put it in product, it's really cool. So, she's been making like uh, water bottles. Uh, all sorts of things with that, and it's really cool. She's got a like whole setup over here. I'm I'm making Dungeon and Dragons dice next. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. So she's got like twenty side die, twelve side die. Oh, can't wait for those color changing ones that are in your hand. You know, you roll a twenty or an eighteen on that defense, man. You're done. So. All right. Oh man. So so where can you get those things? Where does she sell her work? Uh, actually, <laughs> so I, uh, I actually changed my chamber dude <laughs> Facebook page to her. What is it called? Prismatic crafts. prismatic crafts on Facebook. Tori's prismatic crafts, something like that. I don't know. You can go on my page and find it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, prismatic crafts by Tori. Awesome. Yep. So fun. And so your studio is called Forevermore. Forevermore Studio. Yep. Uh, I was I I was gonna name it Nathan Lashawn Photography, but I'm not that arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't choke over there. What are you doing? You okay? Uh, no. Uh, I I wanted something that embodied a studio that that also fostered artists because um, I we have interns like I have another photographer here, uh, Day Snyder. Um, I never wanted this business to just be about one photographer and one eye because there are so many eyes. There's so many different ways to look through the lens. So I wanted to build something that fostered everybody. So how'd we do? <laughs> People want to know about the prismatic, so I'll link to that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let, me, let me just pass it over to Tori. She was not ready for this. She's probably like, you son of a bitch. Yeah, oh, sorry. My bad. Right, I'm a beep. Uh-oh. Thank you there. so much for showing your artwork, though. It's so cool. Thank you. That one right there, like in the corner, looks like a... Like a beach? Like a beach. That's so fun. So I actually use sand. So it is real beach sand. I can't pick it up because I just put resin on it. Um, but yeah, like I've done it for people for vacations. Like they'll bring back their beach sand and I can make them. Like I've made coasters and things. So it's like a nice, um, I've never done this, but I've heard of even people um, making things, pendants and things with ashes of their loved ones and pets and, and hair. Like it, it's really, it's really nice. That's so cool. Well, awesome. Well, do you guys want to have any final thoughts or again, if there's any questions from the audience? Yeah, if I, we're well, welcome to questions. Yeah. I could, I could show my, uh, I found my mug. I can show my mug that she made me. Uh, <laughs> I did drop it. So, um, so there's some inconsistency, but see, she made me my punk rock mug. Uh, it's my water bottle. But the coolest part is when, when it's in a really hot room or my hand, if you it like turn, turns different colors. It's got like this like mood ring look to it. So it's kind of cold in here because we've had the AC on. So, but it's it's a really cool water bottle. But yeah, I, I dropped it. So it kind of chipped a little, but you know, because I'm chaotic. That's what happens. <laughs> yeah, so we've been planning on doing how-to videos on how to do that too, because I think that's the best way to market anything you have. Actually, yeah, I wanted to jump in on so I've been talking to Gina Matthews and now Lisa Props and uh, Liza Page, and we're talking about async arts. Have you heard about it yet? No, I haven't. 
So the whole idea is that we're getting people to make art and share art asynchronously. Um, so, sorry, I was holding my space bar. <laughs> anyway, so we're like showcasing uh, art around the community, go and do things um, like chalk art or play in a park and record yourself and then like let other people go see it uh things like that um we're going to be having a we actually have some chalk art already in ice park that's going to be nice. fun. we're going to put some poems up in storefronts that's cool too so anyway so the whole idea is that it's a shared experience with our community and kind of interacting with art in different ways asynchronously but one of the things that gina has been really mm -hmm. pushing is like can we document it? Can we document the process? Like if you're doing something like a mural or creating a sculpture or, you know, something that can be, you know, some kind of project, can you also document? Yeah. Use your phone. <laughs> I mean, this is, we have the world at our fingertips right. now. Absolutely. Yeah. So like use your phone or whatever you got and um, check out the pro, you know, create the process video or even just photographs to just kind of the, the advice I would give anyone that needs to like so I, I hear a lot of times like I forget to I'm not good at it I'm not good mm -hmm. at my I, I don't know I'm all thumbs with my phone just do it I don't care if it sucks you have to get like you know, it, so right now, I mean, I hate to say it but like hey, right now the most viral videos right now are the worst videos that are filmed the worst way it's like why didn't you follow through why didn't you so you're not going to screw up your mural video. You know what I mean? Like you're not going to screw it up. Like just set it somewhere, see if you're in line with it and do it. You know what I mean? Get it done put it out there. Let people consume it because they want to see it. Yeah. Yeah. People like people real. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. So, so that's kind of some other stuff that's going on with the arts council. I hope people will check out prismatic crafts by Tori and forevermore studios. I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you so much to Nate and Tori for showing us what you do. It's been really fun. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you. It's been art for art's sake. Have a good one. <laughs>